Friday the 8th of January still and uh, I'm just coming back out of town from my little trip to the um, post office to renew my driving license. Um, and here we are, <sighs> breathing in that lovely open air, beautiful. Um, on the way past, on the way down past the job centre here in High Wycombe, I had a little look inside the window because as you walk down the hill from the car park up here, you can see inside the window. And I saw a, an image saying no cuts and um, something about uh, working together to protect the social structure. Defending public services together is what it reads. And I'm just going to try and get it in for you um, because is it a sign of something to come? If you can read that. It says stop the cuts, protecting public services together. I don't know if you can read that. It's on that poster there. And the camera's not good. Stop the cuts. Now does that mean that obviously during the first pandemic or first lockdown we um, we help the homeless people, we put them all into shelters and now we're just housing migrants into um, housing migrants into uh, into hotels but you know people that are born and bred here and been raised in this country um, they can just freeze on the street because I've got to be honest it's been pretty cold um, over the past sort of week or so and um, I find that fascinating that we're we're housing and putting people who have illegally crossed into this country on, 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 a, on a rubber dinghy usually a lot of the time. Um, we're housing them in hotels and at the start of the pandemic, you know, we were housing the homeless, we were putting homeless up as well. But now the homeless can just, you know, basically, you know, do one, it would seem. Um, and, you know, it's, I don't think that's, I don't think that's, that's morally right. I really just don't think that that is morally right, that we now just shut the door on them, but we continue to help those that have never paid into the system, never paid into the system, but those that may have paid or probably have paid into the system and have become homeless through no fault of their own, um, now probably are very unlikely to be able to get sort of, you know, the, the job seekers allowance or universal credit, whatever it's now called. Um, because if you don't have an address, you can't, you can't actually claim these things and, and get any help from the state. But people can come over on a rubber dinghy and cross the channel and they'll be put in a hotel and, you know, until their asylum paperwork is processed, where actually they should have probably stopped in a country bordering uh, the one that they originated from. But um, that was part of what, what Brexit was all about. But uh, anyway, they're making a hash job of that as well now. It looks like we've got a pretty bum deal, which is uh, fairly annoying. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say is uh, and point out that signage that I that I noticed as I was walking down the hill. I wanted to just make a little video and document that 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 the that, that the two signs clearly state um, stop the cuts and um, working to get together to protect the public services. What's coming, eh? more cuts for our beloved um, unemployed and people that have been left destitute whilst we uh, we fund those that have never paid into the system something very wrong thanks for watching uh, if you like the video hit the like button and uh, if you haven't subscribed already then please hit the subscribe bye for now